Everything I make starts from a ball of clay like this, and everything is made one at a time. So since she was holding that little pitcher, we make a little pitcher here. The other thing is because this clay has water in it, they're both in there. So and I'm using the water to make the pot out of it. <laughs> as the pot shrinks and as the pot's fired, all the pieces shrink about 20% from the time they're started till the time they're finished. So as the wheel spins, and as I hold my fingers and push them, it's called pulling up the clay, which is how you make the shape. So as you come up, you have a coil of clay that goes all the way around the pot that comes up and allows the clay to be lifted like this. And because I'm going to make a pitcher, I'm going to leave this top a little thick. Come around and start the shape of what's going to be a pitcher. Now, after I get the shape started, I then finish off the bottom, or start finishing off the bottom by taking off the excess clay like that. And then I take a couple of metal ribs that have less friction than my fingers. And it does two things. It takes the throwing rings out and it takes the slip off the clay so that the clay is not so likely to fall down and collapse. Okay, so now I'm going to compress this top a little bit so when I pinch the lip out, it doesn't split it right. And this is a shame, it's a little thin piece of leather. So I get my, get my fingers wet, and then I just push the clay up a little bit at a time to make a spout. And then I'm going to turn around so I can Take my finger and just make a nice little shape so the spout has something to roll out of and because it's now oval, I get it back to almost round and then I take the ribs, come back and clean up where I've been working. And now I've got this pitcher finished, so I'll let it dry before I can come back and put the handle on it. After the pieces come out of the electric kill, we then glaze them. We put two glazes on them, the base glaze and the ash glaze. And then we spray the stain on them. They are then loaded into the kill. The kill is stacked level to level till it's completely full. We have those little uh, triangular things that are cones that gives us the temperature. We've got the kill firing. It's at about 2400 degrees. These two little holes here are called peep holes. Inside of there are cones which bend at certain temperatures and that's when we know when to turn off the kill. What we're firing to is called nine and a half, which means nine's down and ten's half over. And this is what the completed picture looks like from start to finish. So everything is made one at a time, the handles are all put on one at a time, the lids are all trimmed for casseroles, and they're fired twice, the second firing fusing the glaze and the clay together. And then you have a completely finished piece that's fired to 2300 degrees, suitable for the kitchen, for the oven, for the microwave, and for the dishwasher. Enjoy your own product's pottery.